<laughs> okay, video four. Hello, Joe Noble here. So we've got our servers up and running. Um, I now need to, I've got some notes here of what I want to do. I need to add the licenses into ClearPass. So first of all, I need to boot up ClearPass, add the licenses in. I'm going to join the ClearPass server to the Active Directory domain, redsquad.com. Home. I'm going to put in the domain controller as an authentication source. So I need to get the root CA certificate off of the ADCA, put that into the ClearPass trust list and do a signing request, a certificate signing request uh, on ClearPass to the CA to get the certificate back for Radius. So quite a few different steps there to get essentially to integrate ClearPass into the AD and make sure that it's forming the chain of trust for our PKI. Okay, so um, like I said, quick and dirty though, I'm not going to make PowerPoints out of these things. First of all, I am going to, so I need to, on my Hyper-V server, I need to start up my ClearPass, get that going. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, so I've set up a new remote desktop set up to the Win DC1, which is also my CA, so that I can tell the difference between the Red Squad VLAN 5 domain controller server and the underlying Hyper-V server, because they boot up with the same background, this lovely blue um, illuminated window. What we will do is we will personalize. So I'm logged in here, so this is 5.1, so this is the Win DC1 uh, on Red Squad. I will change the background, so let's change the solid color. Uh, what should we go for? Maybe this muted uh, brick red. There we go. Uh, we'll go for brick red. Uh, oh, what I've done actually, I've done the updates prior to starting recording. I did the updates for this server and I've activated it. So let's minimize that and we will try to get onto our ClearPass server. Okay, 5.10. So if I open up a new Firefox session, hopefully, dot 5.10. There we go. Okay, so policy manager. Log in and we're in. So what I need to do is I need to go over to licensing, licensing, and I need to add the licenses. I haven't added uh, the onboard, on guard, or the access. So I need to add the licenses. Okay, I'll skip ahead for that. Okay, licensing done, back on the dashboard. What I noticed actually is that my updates haven't finished, so I do need to um, get that sorted. Okay, so what? Ah, I think I down, I fired off the download, but I didn't do the install, so I'm gonna have to go ahead with that. Okay, so that took a while, but the update is now complete. So I've done the license, done the update, and now I want to join this to the Active Directory uh, domain server configuration. Hit that. Another point I should make is that I've changed the DNS because I decided I was just going to have a fully enclosed uh, environment for this. So uh, VLAN 5 is essentially going to be its own domain, own DNS. This means that I had to change that to the local domain DNS, which is my domain controller. And that means that I should be able to join the AD domain. Okay, so we hit this button. Domain controller is winDC1.redsquad.home. Okay, NetBIOS name is found. So that if, it, if it finds the NetBIOS name, that's norm normally a good sign. In my experience, so the admin password, and then we try to add to so the ClearPass server, try to add it to the AD. Okay, I'm getting green, so that looks good. 
joined clip us five to dns domain yeah, yeah that looks like it's all going through successfully so we've got a new recruit to red squad there we go close good stuff so that's in next up, I want to configure my authentication source. So I'm going to go to, oh, it's a configuration, authentication, so expand that to sources. There we are. Okay, so I want to add there. So this one's going to be, this is win DC1. Uh, it is Active Directory, and I don't have it there, so we'll go next. So the And the host name is win-dc-1.redsquad.home. Okay. So then the bind. Administrator password. And you can hit this to browse. Okay, so we can see the domain there. Okay, that's fine. Looks like we should be okay with that. So now we've got that uh, our DC in as an authentication source. Good. Now, another step that I need to take is I'm going to... So, this probably doesn't follow the workflow that well, but I've got it down in my notes to do, which is to add in uh, the network device. So, I'm going to set up a uh, an Aruba uh, AP. It's running Aruba Instant 8.4, and I know from the DHCP range that I put together that the first IP address that's grabbed is going to be .100. So, I can add in beforehand that device. So this is going to be, we'll just call it AP1, and it's going to come out as 100. Okay. Put in the shared secret. I'll add that in there, good. And next, okay, so now this is the more interesting part where we integrate ClearPass. So there's two things that we need to do. Well, first of all, on ClearPass, what I am going to do is I'm going to get the signing request. So go to certificates, certificate store. Um, and this is just a self-signed uh, certificate. But we are, and you can create another self-signed certificate there. We're going to create the certificate signing request, which needs to be signed by the uh, root CA. Put in the private key password. Okay, copy that and download the signing request sign a request there we are save file when i saw another video on this by herman he had the private key as well um but the private key is just stored in the system rather than you seeing it as a separate file i believe and it says private key is stored in the system you can now upload certificate alone without using the private key Okay, so we've got the signing request. Now we need to jump over to the CA. So that's the web uh, interface that we want to go to, which will be is it five dot one, and it is cert c e r t s r v. I believe should hit it. Okay, uh, I didn't put in the domain, actually, I just had to put wedge in. Okay, so two things that we need to do. 
we need to download a CA certificate and it's got to be base 64, I believe. So let's download the CA certificate there. Save that file. I need to go back then and do the signing request. So request a certificate using advanced. There we go. And I did copy it so that I could paste it directly in there rather than having to use the file. Uh, the template type, oh, hang on, wait, that's web server and submit. So it's got to be a base 64 and then we download the certificate. I'm just going to save the file. Okay, good. So now what do we need to do? So we've got the two certificates. One of them goes into the trust list. So this, these are all the trusted routes. We need to add a new one. So this is our, it's our private CA, which uh, is going to be the top of our trust chain, the root. So I'm going to add and browse to that. I've put the certs into a folder. Which one was for, uh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it does actually, there we go. <laughs> it tells me that's a root certificate and that's the standard. Okay, so root certificate is the one that we want. Okay, so if we do 100, there we are, there it is. That's the details, red squad, okay. So that's my root certificate installed and we need to import the uh, certificate that we got signed by the root CA after our certificate signing request. So here we are, um, certificate type, yeah, it's a server certificate, which we're gonna use for radius and EEP. Okay, now, so we need to browse to it. Let's import. Okay, and there we have it. So you can see the details there. So we've got the root CA certificate and then the and our local signed certificate for Clipass 5, part of Red Squad, which was issued by the WinDC CA. Okay, and that's it for this video then. So we've integrated our Clipass. Uh, first of all, I had to update the Clipass server, finish that off. Uh, I joined it to the uh, AD domain. Um, I added my uh, first AP that I'm going to use on my network, uh, kind of jumping ahead with, with that point because I know that that's going to grab dot one hundred in this uh, far one nine two one six eight dot five subnet. And then finally, there's the two certificates. So we got the root CA certificate and we created a certificate signing request, which was then signed by the root to create that chain. So now we trust the root CA, so that's in our trusted source, and we have a certificate on our ClearPass server, which is signed by the root. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. Bearing in mind that this is just rough and ready, just building my lab. So um, if you want to see a more uh, experienced uh, ClearPass uh, engineer doing these things, do check out the Airheads Broadcasting Channel YouTube link coming up in a moment. But that's all for now. My name is Joe Neville. Thanks for watching and goodbye.